Good morning, everyone. We're back in Las Vegas. Actually, we're in Northwest Las Vegas at Floyd Lamb State Park, and we're here for the Highland Games of Las Vegas. We've got tons of piper bands, we've got lots of people in kilts, and we've got a lot of things to see. So this adventure starts right now. behind the stage right now. We got bands warming up, getting ready to play. We just had the March of the Clans a little while ago. And that was very exciting. Let's just, uh, let's wander around a little bit. And this is all brought to us by the Las Vegas Celtic Society. Las Vegas Celtic Society has been hosting the Highland Games here for 15 years and they are fond of saying it's the most fun you've ever had with bagpipes. This massive festival celebrating all things Scottish happens one weekend in April every year and features live music by excellent Celtic bands, Highland dance and bagpipe and drum band competitions, heavy athletics, clan representatives, food and drink and vendors, and a truly joyous atmosphere. And the setting, Floyd Lamb State Park in the northern end of town, is perfect for the occasion. Local boys and girls are here at the Highland Games in traditional dress to compete in dance competitions. Watch these young ones do the sword dance. I do believe in fairies, I do, I do, I do, I do believe in fairies. Wow, nice job. For centuries, heavy athletics has always been the big draw for the Highland Games and a sure crowd pleaser. Both men and women are invited to participate in events that are judged, scored, and eligible for awards. Athletes must participate in all events to qualify for an award. Stones, hammers, weight for distance, caber, and sheaf toss. The Celtic Society website provides excellent descriptions of the events. I'll put a link below in the description box. Our good attempt, Mike, is going to one mayor 
Brian Benzo. So, Paula, what do you think of the Highland Games here in Las Vegas? I am having a wonderful time at the Highland Games. It's, Everybody's in a skirt. The guys, the girls, everybody. And there's only one problem. <laughs> yeah. The lines are so long, we can't get any food. Or drink. <laughs> I settle for a wee dram, but the lines are very long. Yeah, we may have to go to, uh, where's our favorite spot after we vlog? Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box. <laughs> <laughs> Not very Scottish. <laughs> the band on stage now is Seven Nations, originally from New York City and making original music since 1993. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, we're, st we're in April and there's still snow up there. Yeah. Lots of it, actually. Uh oh. Oh, really? Hi. I'm not going to steal your secrets. <laughs> Floyd Lamb Park is not only host to many outdoor events like this one but it is also a beautiful oasis for locals with picnic areas, walking and bike trails, horseback riding, and ponds stocked for fishing. It also shares its location with a famous slice of Las Vegas history, one that is on the National Register of Historic Places, Tule Springs Ranch. The springs attracted Indians and prospectors in the early days, and it was a watering hole for the horse-drawn bullfrog stage line on its route to the mining community of Rhyolite, which is a few hours north of Las Vegas via I-95. The first man to file on the water rights to the Thule Springs was Bert Ney in 1916. He built the adobe hut that still remains here and used it as a blacksmith shop. The story heats up in the 1940s when Prosper Jacob Gauman bought the property and developed it into a divorce ranch. One of the early draws for both Las Vegas and Reno, besides gambling, was the ease of getting married and or divorced. Long waiting periods that were required in other states decades ago were not required in Nevada in the 40s. A divorce could be had after only six weeks residency, the shortest in the nation. So Gauman set up his ranch to house 10 to 12 guests waiting out their six weeks. In those days, life on the Dude Ranch had been glamorized by movie stars and newspapers, and so Gauman delivered a swimming pool, a lake, tennis courts, horseback riding, barbecues, and dancing. The divorce ranch flourished through the 1940s and 50s, and a lot of what was built during those times still remains in the park. Look at those kebabs. Oh my gosh. What a thing of beauty. And I think that's going to do it for us at the Highland Games, the Las Vegas Highland Games. We had a pretty good time. Yeah, this place is hopping. Lots and lots of people here. It's a place to be on a Saturday in April. Couldn't get anything to eat but, uh, or anything to drink. All the lines were, were pretty full, as you can imagine. I tell you what, if you like this, if you like this uh, video, give us a thumbs up. If you give us a thumbs up, it shows that you care. <laughs> also, if you want to belong to the Society of the McKinsey's here, uh, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit that button because every time you do, uh, they will uh, contact you uh, when our next video is coming out. Hope you had a good time. See you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.